Hi everybody, Gerdy Verboert here, their Great League Guiding Coach, with episode 19 of the series How to Safely Hike Mountains or Any Other Part of Nature. So, I've been hiking uh, the Three Brothers, like I said in uh, my previous video, and I'm sitting on brother number three. Let me show you. Uh, let me see if I can do this correctly. There you go, that's brother number three. I just put my name in the summit book, or Gipfelbuch, as they say around here. And now, in the previous videos, I showed you the view to the south. Let me now show you the view to the north. There we go. Uh, I'll have to bring you down a little bit, because otherwise you'll just see sky. There we go. Look at this. So, and that down there is, oh, excuse me, that's Tsel am See with uh, the Lake Tsel, so which is um, the main city in the area where, uh, where I'm sitting, in um, Salzburg alone. So outside of Salzburg, this is one of the main cities. And city, as you can see, is a big word for what it is. Anyways. So that's the view. I'll continue a little bit. Oh. So now you get... I know it sounds silly when you try to explain to people why you like to hike. Because um, I recently saw a, uh, a cartoon that it was a circle. And it said something like, um, if you go clockwise, or that's clockwise for you. Anyways, if you go clockwise, it started with um, having fun planning, having fun so sorting out your gear, then came um, having fun on the first bit of your hike, then came cursing the mountain, then came joyfully standing on top and forgetting that you cursed the mountain, and then came planning a hike again. Because that's how it works. I just, um, I don't know if, I, if you can see this, I just had to uh, hike from that mountain over there, the second or the first, uh, no, that's the big one over there with the cross. I then went over that little one and then I had to cross that ridge over there, which is not my favorite kind of hiking. It was rather narrow and the only thing I can do to cross narrow ridges like that is concentrate on where I put my feet and definitely not look to the sides. Anyways, well that ties nicely into uh, today's tip actually. So tip 19 is trust yourself. Now I know I can do ridges like that as long as I concentrate on my feet. As long as I concentrate on where I put my feet. And if I want to look to the side, I have to stop. Make sure that I stand uh, firmly, that I've planted my feet firmly, that I'm not wobbly, and then I can look around. Then I can even look down, that's fine, but I definitely don't want to do that when I'm walking. Besides, if you're walk when you're walking, and uh, or when I'm walking, uh, on really narrow ledges like that, and I'm not kidding you, it was, uh, there were places in there that were not, no, well, that barely were a meter wide, if not uh, tighter, smaller. Um, if you start looking around you as you are walking, the likelihood of you um, tripping over something is rather large and the likelihood of you then falling to either side and falling, um, well, depending on which direction you fall in, either to your death or to horrible injuries. Um, I know it sounds dramatic, but uh, it's not something you want to do. Still, like I said, I know I can do these things, I just have to trust myself. Um, which is what I did, which is why I'm sitting at uh, on brother number three, and not somewhere halfway uh, that up that uh, ridge, getting ready to come search and rescue to get me down. So, trust yourself. It came, um, it was also, um, a little bit of a subject in my previous video, which was all about trusting um, 
or not being scared of other hikers. But trusting yourself is all about listening to that feeling in the pit of your stomach. Are you scared because you're doing something that you ha have never done before and this is your first time? Or are you scared because it's actually dangerous what you're doing and you don't, you really, really don't trust yourself? That's something that only you can determine, but it is something that I encourage you to listen to. So, um, there have been occasions when my stomach was doing backflips and I knew it was not just me not completely um, being certain of whether or not I could do something, but me being so scared that my knees actually started to wobble. Um, which is, for me, a good reason to turn around, to not continue. Uh, it, it happens sometimes when you run into people where you think, hmm, don't, it doesn't feel quite right. So trust yourself, trust your intuition, but um, also learn how to distinguish between uh, a stomach doing true backflips and a stomach that is just a bit nervous because you're doing something for the very first time. And it's just uh, something you have to go through. I can't tell you what's what. That is something you have to figure out for yourself. Um, but when you do, you'll find that those times when your stomach was your stomach, or wherever else fear is sitting with you, um, when your stomach used to be filled with butterflies, um, that feeling is going to go away when you do certain things more often so I know when I if I were to do this hike more often than I'm luckily likely doing it and I would have to cross that ridge again a couple of times every time I do it it gets a little bit easier now I have no intention of doing that again as, um, although this is a beautiful hike I've now done it and there's lots more to be done around here but still that is tip number 20 19, excuse me, tip number 19, trust yourself. As always, go there greatly. Bye-bye.